I get comments and I, and I know where it comes from that you should uh, that carpenters are saying you're not supposed to hook a, a deck or a porch to a mobile home and I understand where that, that comes from the, the idea that the deck itself will pull the mobile home down at a level first of all I'm not trying to make those guys wrong some uh, cities have ordinance on it I, I, they make rules about anything so first of all a mobile home will get out of level anyway. You want to make sure that you understand not to put uh, a deck so that it will put weight on the mobile home. So you build it, and if you watch some of my deck uh, builds, if you build it, you build it so that it carries its own weight. And a lot of my decks of uh, uh, owners have taken to, to uh, be able to build an addition on. So. It's built so well that the addition can be built on it and it's connected to the house. Now, what happens if you don't connect it to the house? Now, you can build a beautiful deck, um, brace it really well, um, really straight wood. But guess what? That wood changes because it's not got anything to keep it out of the weather. And this is what happens. See the video to show up there at the top. The whole deck moves around. Is that something you want? Oh, well, now you, you, you can put braces on it and stop. But I'm going to tell you right now, those 4 before they didn't buy them crooked like that. They became crooked because they're not fastened to anything. They'll do, I've had pressure-treated wood, which is now treated with a lot of water. Uh, I've had decking, 5 force decking boards just pop up and break the screws so what i'm going to tell you right now is build the deck right so it will support its own weight connect it to the house connect it to the house that way you won't have water running down inside your own porch which you put up here to keep water from getting on you um, and generally what i would do is go underneath this right here so that i could take flashing and go underneath there over on top of this but uh, first thing I want to do is fasten this to the house so we can get a good firm connection and not have somebody built this thing really nice didn't connect it to the house like they were told not to the house has still got its issues and I'm telling you you can connect it to the house I know there's gonna be people tell you, you can but I've been doing it for 28 getting near 30 years I've not had any house be pulled down and I re-level houses I've not in, had any house be pulled down by a deck that I built and when you build an addition guess what you connect it to the house you don't build it separately it's connected to the mobile home you wouldn't have it a little air gap or problems with the bugs getting in or anything else so I defer you to look at what I've done instead of listening to people who don't have any content I noticed something else people who complain are people who don't have anything at risk who don't have any content they may actually be better than I am but they're not willing to risk to show you how to do things they're not willing to do that okay if they were they're too busy building and and giving content to people so that they can learn too busy to do that and like me I would never go to somebody else's video and make all kinds of bad comments would never do that that's somebody that's miserable to live with 